so today I just want to quickly say I've just washed my hair about an hour and a half ago um, so I put my hat on so it's kind of like air drying so uh, see how that goes I don't know if you can tell but I've got a bit of a raspy voice so sexy phlegm going on <clears throat> But today I have a beauty haul for you full of makeup and I was gonna say beauty bits but it's all kind of it's all makeup products and this is long awaited I've been collecting these bits for quite some time now so I thought I would finally go ahead and do a beauty haul for you um, and they're all very spring oriented my house is full of humans right now so I've just snuck off to just film a video um, so before I go back I think they think I'm still in the shower. I don't know. So uh, hopefully they don't hear me talking to myself. Although they all know what I do. Ah! Okay, so beauty haul. It's a mixture of um, eyes, lips, face, nails, all that kind of beauty stuff. And I have put everything non-fittingly in my little bag um, because <laughs> I've got a big silver box that I usually put um, things that I'm showing in a haul or a favourites video. Um, but I'm using that as like a pretty storage box right now. So this was the only bag to hand. I've got a GHD box that's my mum's, but I don't know. I'm going to jump right into everything. The first thing that I've got is, I think it's quite new. Um, has my camera dimmed? Who knows? Who knows? I feel like a... You know what I'm saying? Um, I have the L'Oreal Nude Magique BB Powder Velvet Skin Beautifier in Light Skin. And I absolutely love this. I'm wearing it now. Um... It's just a uh, really nice, soft, velvety powder. Um, and if you flip it up, you've got your little mirror and little sponge that I don't use. Um, I use this under my eyes to kind of set and further conceal my under eye circles. Um, it is good coverage as well, not just a setting powder. So I really, really like that. I think that was about 6 99 ish um, But I bought my sister one at the same time because we really love the actual BB cream. So we thought we would try um, the BB powder. I don't know what's going on in my voice. Next, okay, so I actually got this. Um, I did a video shoot recently with Westfield London, um, the Shepherd's Bush Westfield, and we did a shopping challenge, and I still had, I think, about £40 left, and I'd got my whole entire outfit, plus jewellery, plus everything else that you could have, and they were like, just go and get a makeup item. So I thought, okay. Um, so I had £40 on this card left, and I thought, oh, I don't know what to get. And every time I see Arabella, which is once a week, um, and I absolutely love it. She always, she, I always say, oh, I want this cream blush, I want this cream blush. She's like, well, try it on, I'll get it. And I'm like, oh, I don't know, it's such a commitment. Um, but I finally was able to get it without feeling too, too guilty. And I was super grateful that um, I was able to get it. And I, cream blushes always look messy. I'm really sorry if you've used them. <laughs> um, I got this one, um, a Chanel cream blush in Inspiration. And it's a very, very natural looking colour. I'm wearing it now. Um, it's very nice and buildable. And the thing with this is it's a very hard texture to describe. It's not wet cream. It's very satiny and silky and velvety um, and very natural on the skin. So I really, really love that. And I'm very lucky girly to be able to have got that. Um, this is in no particular order, so uh, we're just gonna have to go with it. I have a Topshop lipstick in Peach Sunday, and I actually got this when I was with Lily Melrose, and <clears throat> God, I was like nearly gonna be sick. <laughs> and um, she got this as well, I think. Um, and it's just a really nice kind. It's an orange, basically. I was gonna say it's a light peach, but it's definitely not. Um, and you might be thinking, you don't wear orange. No, I don't wear orange lipstick, but I'm trying to experiment with lip colours a little bit. Um, so that is that. I have got another orangey peach item but that is not near the top so can't do that just yet. And I've also got the lipstick I'm wearing now. Um, oh I'm wearing something else now as well so we'll get onto that in a moment but this is the Topshop lipstick in Petal. This is the second uh, repurchase of that. And the other item, is it this one? Yes, the other thing I'm wearing on my lips on the top and then dabbed in is this L'Oreal I think it's a liquid lipstick, I'm not too sure. What are these called? Um, I have a few of them, which I'll show you. Um, but I'm wearing that just dabbed on the top just to give it a Your Lips a Better colour. Of course, you can wear it on its own. Um, but it's just a really lovely... Um There we go. So obviously if I applied it just this, like without dabbing it, it'd be a lot more um, of a stronger colour. Um, but I put a little bit on and dab it in. I got, okay. <laughs> 
So we all see these pre-roll ads, you probably saw one at the beginning of this video and I have been seeing the, um, I've got the brand then, the Maybelline Better Skin advert with Molly King and I love Molly King and she's, hi, I'm Molly King, I've got quite a busy lifestyle. I love, I just love, <laughs> I wasn't taking the mic there. Um, so I was like, if, if she, you know, she's representing it, I'm gonna try it out. I've tried it a few times. Um, I like it, it's nothing like, woohoo, um, but I think it's worth a try, you might really like it. Um, because we're getting into spring summer, I've kind of, uh, I normally just use concealer or a BB cream and then a powder, but I've kind of steered off uh, from using powders recently all over the face anyway. Um, so I've been experimenting more with um, foundations and things, but me, me, me. not too sure, not too sure completely contradicting myself here. I picked up a um, powder highlight because I've got the Urban Decay highlight powder but it's very glittery so I just wanted a uh, another option and plus this is a drugstore option. I think this was about £1.50 to £2.50. It's the MUA Undress Your Skin Shimmer Highlighter. It's absolutely amazing. Um, I absolutely love the texture of it. Not sure if you can see um, but wow that's pigmented. <laughs> If you can see slightly, uh, but I just think it's a really, really, really good highlight. If you are looking for one that's really inexpensive, then you can pick this one up. Um, I really enjoy it anyway. Um, I've got a couple more of the uh, L'Oreal liquid lipstick glossy thing, so I'll just do those now. The first one I got is 101 Rose Melody. The other one that I'm wearing now, sorry, is called Molto Mode, um, and this one is just a bit of a lighter pink um, and then this one they're very much like the YSL liquid things <laughs> um Cara Delevingne's the poster girl for the red one and you like for it and now uh, she's wearing red and this one oh look at that look at that um so that just makes me very excited I think these are about 5 99 each and um, but at the time of getting most of this stuff there was a big three for two going on which they do pretty regularly at Boots um I kind of want to wipe this off I'm worried about getting it everywhere. <laughs> Okie dokie. I have two of the Maybelline Colour Sensational Lip Buttery Sticks. Uh, again, I peel but lots of packaging off, so it's not always there. Um, this one is in 832 Kiss Pearl. Love the packaging of these. Um, I've become more kind of aware of packaging now that I have Muji storage because obviously you can um, see the packaging through it and I'm like a bit anal about it now. Um, and I also got this one in 75 Tantalizing Taupe, which according to lots of my blogger buddies that have the Charlotte Tilbury Nude Kate, uh, this is a dupe for it. Apparently, I wouldn't know, I don't, I don't have that. Um, so that's just kind of like a nudie orangey um, shade. I have two of the L'Oreal Collection Privé by um, it's kind of the whole collection, I'm sure you've heard all about it, but the collection is basically um, a selection of nudes tailored to different uh, iconic women's skin tones and things. And I am not the same shade as Cheryl or Frida. I don't, sorry, is this really ignorant? I don't know who, which, who this is. Um, but yeah, I'm not the same skin tone as um, Cheryl Cole at all. But I saw um, Viviana Does Makeups, uh, a big a blog post she did on nude lipsticks and I really like the look of it and it's not a nude for me it's more like of a colour um, because I'm quite pale so oh oh I don't oh that's a thing I just, the smell is disgusting absolutely hate the smell um but that is the colour there but oh I really 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 hate the smell um I can't really describe it but give it a whiff if you're ever in boots or sleep drug um and then this one is I kind of have completely gone off it. Um, this one is kind of browny, pinky. Um, but you know, we all learn and make mistakes, don't we? How long have I been filming? Oh, not too long, not too long. Um, next up, I have two Lord and Berry uh, eyeliners, which you can get at Liberties and um, I, yes, sorry. <laughs> the first one is the Polish Eye Pencil in Mirror Black. And I wear that um, in my tight line and kind of, the corner to somewhat join it to the um, winged liner, wing, winged liner, and um, just in the corner here, um, and it just doesn't move at all, which is amazing. It's super waterproof and super black, um, so it just 
completely stays put and it doesn't if you put it on the tight line and blink loads which hopefully you do blink um it won't mirror on the waterline uh, I dropped <laughs> and I got another Lord and Berry liner this is a sketch eyeshadow pencil in black um so this is just for as you may be able to tell I've been experimenting more with um eyeshadow before I didn't wear it at all so I've been experimenting more with that so I thought I would get a black because you need you need a black one in your life you need a black one in your life okay so this is the urban decay okay I've got the wrong thing <laughs> um this is fine this is still new um I was gonna show you the um I got the urban decay naked basics I think I've already featured this in a video I can't quite remember um but this is fairly new as well so I'll just include that you got the blush the highlight and the bronzing powder um but I also got the urban decay naked basics which I haven't put in my little bag of hauling items which is naughty so I picked this up this mascara and then that evening I watched uh, a video I can't remember whose it was and they said they really didn't like it and I was like no I'm yet to try it that was a really uh, um, I'm yet to try it um, but I'm still hopeful because a lot of people do like it so my fingers are still my fingers I don't really know what I was going to say there. I'm still a bit like, I'm still excited for it. And it's the L'Oreal Mega Volume Miss Manga Mascara. And I saw a pre roll advert of Sammy from Beauty Crush of doing it. I was like, oh my God, she was absolutely incredible in it. So, oh, I'm so pleased for her um, for getting that. And um, yeah, so I'm yet to try this. I love the pink, it's brilliant. Um, but yeah, some people love this, some people hate it, the concept, because it's like really super wiggly. Can we see? It's like, woo. Don't know. Oh, it smells. Well, mascara's not gonna smell the best, is it? Um, but yes, I'm yet to try it. If you have tried this, let me know what you think. Um, <laughs> everything's rolling off. Um, another mascara, I've got the Topshop 3D Curve mascara, and I love the Topshop makeup section in the um, Oxford Circus Topshop because the makeup lady, I, I can't remember her name, oh my gosh, I think it's Mia. Anyway, the makeup girl that's always there when I'm in, she re she knows me by name now because that that's how much I'm in there, which is a little bit awkward, um, but it's great. And she's super lovely and super helpful. And um, I was asking about mascaras. So I've never tried a Topshop mascara before, so she recommended the 3D Curve. Um, I'm yet to try this actually, because I only got this just the other day. But, oh, oh I nearly bite myself. <laughs> Um, but it's very sort of clean looking, like it won't clump. Um, if you have tried this again, do let me know. Doopy doo, bag of goodness. More things falling off. I've got three Urban Decay eye products. Fringe out of the face, toss, toss. Um, the first one is the Perversion. Wasn't expecting it to say Perversion. Super saturated, ultra intense, waterproof cream eyeliner. I think this isn't a favorite, so you've already seen this before, but I just have to include it again. Absolutely adore it. It's the most easiest liner application ever. And um, it's the only thing I've been reaching for, as well as, as well as the Urban Decay Ink for Eyes Waterproof Precision Eye Pen. If I don't have as much time, then I'll go for the pen. And this just is absolutely incredible. Really love it. If you're wanting to try an eyeliner pen, definitely go for this one. And then I've also got the 24-7 um, Velvet Glide-On Eye Pencil, um, and this is in black velvet, so it's just very, very uh, creamy and black, which I'm sure would look really, really good in the waterline and tightline, as well as the um, Lord & Berry one. I think they're pretty similar in what they do. Um, oh, here is the other peach product that I mentioned earlier. It's the Cream Blush in Head Over Heels by Topshop. And... <sighs> okay. Give us one moment, please. One moment, please. Here we go. So, as always, the Topshop cream blushes look a bit like, <laughs> stop doing that face, <laughs> oh my God. Um, sometimes the cream blushes look a bit manic, because can you imagine, like, hey, do you like my blush today? Um, but, oh, I just love the consistency of these. It's very natural, peachy flush. So I thought I would try and experiment with the peach lips, peach cheeks. So if you would like a peach, just peachy makeup tutorial, let me know. Um, Okie doke. So this is another um, foundation-y type thing that I've been using. And I'm actually wearing this today. And um, I really love this. So I would definitely recommend this one. Um, and 
I don't know. I saw it um, in an advert, uh, just in a magazine while I was on the train, and I was just like, yeah, I'll try it. Why not? And because it's a three in one, it's a primer, concealer, and foundation, um, and it's SPF 20, and mine's in light ivory, which I believe is the lightest shade, um, and it works really well with my skin tone, and it just looks really good, and it just looks like skin. So um, I think it's it's very light coverage, uh, the amount that I use anyway, and because I don't, I don't really need that much foundation, but it's very easily buildable, I have heard. Um, I haven't really tested that out, so um, yeah, but definitely give this a go. Um, I really like it, and that's the Max Factor Face Affinity All Day Flawless. Oh, well, God black dears. Absolutely love this Topshop um, brow palette. I think I got this the first day it came out, the lovely... Um, girl in Topshop again. This was quite a while ago though. She was like, oh, this has come out today, you should try it. I was like, I will do that. Um, and mine's in the shade Whatever. And I am actually wearing that today. <laughs> um, and it's this. No, wait, <laughs> what? Um, it's a very ashy brown rather than a ready to it's a very ashy brown rather than a red toned brown that you often find in kind of the drugstore. Um, I haven't used this, it's like the gel bit of it. Um, but this is just the perfect um, colour for my eyebrows. So I really, really like that. And it comes in, I think, three shades. Um, but yeah, this one is in the shade whatever. And I also have a Topshop glow stick. I think this is my favourites, but I just have to mention it again. Um, this is basically just a cream highlight stick. Doop, doop, you're done. And I couldn't, I prefer this to the Topshop Glow, uh, the little pot, so I could not recommend this enough. I also use it as eyebrow highlight. Sometimes in the, I put a little bit on my finger and just do that in the inner corner. Um, I really like it, so I just swipe it on and then dab, dab. So that's all the makeup products, but if you can see to the side of me, in this little bowl, I've got some nail polish. Um, this bowl's from H&M, by the way. I made your homeware haul soon, so let me know if you would like that. The first nail polish I'm going to discuss is actually what I am wearing now. My hair, I've just noticed, is growing by the second. This is what happens when you air dry curly hair. Um, <laughs> or coarse, wavy hair, or whatever you want to call it. And at first when I saw it, I was like, oh, it's just a creamy white. No, 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 no. It's a very pale pink with rose gold flecks in it. Or like shimmers it's definitely not going to be on show but um hopefully you can see what i'm doing not too sure but the color is in la vie en rose which is like the life of rose um so love that i got a really really pretty top shop nail polish in buff and it's just a really really light bluey lavendery color which i love and then i also got uh, a top shop nail polish in unicorn which just simply looks like unicorn we <laughs> or something a unicorn would produce which is just a, it's kind of like a glitter top coat then I picked up the ever so popular Essie in Fiji which is really good because I was looking for a really pale pink uh, that wasn't sheeny if that makes sense and this isn't so I got Fiji and I also got two of the uh, L'Oreal uh, nail polishes from their pastel range and they have four in there I think and I got the very pale lilac and the very pale yellow and that is absolutely everything from this makeup and beauty haul I really really hope you enjoyed it give it a big fat thumbs up if you do and if you aren't already and you'd like to please go ahead and subscribe and let me know down below any beauty recommendations you have for me that you think I would enjoy trying thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time bye Ooh, I should go and join my family now, huh? <laughs>